dusted the fan. Ugh. Oh yeah. Oh. Ah. Is this background too plain? Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's a, a woman named the mother of all the hens. <laughs> what is this? Do something different. Mm. Yeah, my hair's getting so long because all the barber shops are closing. I knew I should have got a trim right before they closed. <laughs> Yay! There we go. Alright, um, cut. <coughs> Welcome to the new setup uh, of this video. Huh. What I wanted to talk about, me. Nay, you're wishing! So I did a couple of videos ago, I did a video about what it was like for me coming out. And there's one story in particular that I thought would be like a really fun short video. So this video is actually going to be about how I came out to my grandparents. And I have to be honest, I don't, I don't know. If I actually like ever sat, did I? I never actually like sat down with my grandparents and like, like across the table, like grandma, I'm gay. I never actually said that. I've never actually said that to her. But my grandparents do know that I'm gay. They do know because like when I had a boyfriend, you know, I brought a boyfriend around to them. And so like, I mean, it's just, we don't really talk about it. It's just kind of like accepted, I guess. And they never tease me about getting married to a woman, but they know because my mom actually told my grandparents already. <clears throat> so, <laughs> well, let's talk about focus more on my grandparents. So like I said, I came out in high school, my freshman year. My freshman year of high school is when I came out. And then not too long after that, I think I my mom had the conversation with her mom because I actually, I think I only really came out to my mom at first. And then I was like, okay, mom, go tell everybody. I don't want to have a conversation with them. So like, see, like I never talked, I never talked with my grandma one-on-one. -on -one. I also never talked with any of my uncles one-on-one. -on -one. I was like, hey, uncle, I'm gay, you know? That's, just, I, I left that all for, I left that all to my mom because I didn't really want to do that. But anyways, so in that note, my mom, actually was the one who told my grandparents. And from what my mom told me, from what she told me at that time, I remember I was like, you know, I was asking my mom, I was like, so what did, you know, I would talk with her and I'd be like, so what did, um, what did uncle say? You know, what did grandma say? What did my cousin say? And stuff like that. And she'd be like, oh yeah, they knew and stuff like that. And then when it came to my grandma, she was like, yeah, your grandma, they were, they know, they, they still love you. And then your grandparents still love you. And I think that there's something like, I think, um, I think my grandpa was the one who didn't really, you know, kind of had a hard time with it. But she said like my grandma, she was just like, oh yeah, this is my grandchild. I still love my grandchild in that way. So I appreciated that. I was like, oh, you know. That was really, I felt good about that, even though I never really, like, even to this day, I mean, I never felt, you know, super comfortable to talk about my relationships or anything. And I wouldn't, I don't think if I was straight, I would do that anyways. <laughs> like, that's just, that's just not the kind of relationship that I have with my grandparents. You know what I'm saying? I had a pretty strong relationship with my grandparents before I came out too, anyways. So like, I would always go down, I would always go down to my grandparents' house because they just, they just lived down the block from me. And so I had a strong relationship with them. I would spend time with my grandparents and listen to my grandma's stories and listen to my grandpa talk. And I really appreciated a lot of what they had to teach me and not even teach me, but just share about their own lives. So I had already had a really strong relationship with my grandparents growing up. But I guess, you know, from what my mom said, she was like, your, your grandma accepted it. And one thing that she told me, which I remembered 
was really impactful to me at that time because I was still a freshman in high school and I had been learning about, you know, how in Navajo culture that there was a place for people, you know, like myself who were kind of feminine guys, like what they call nadre. And what my mom said is that my grandma actually told her, she was like, you know, a long time ago when I was growing up, um, my grandma told me that, you know, <clears throat> that Nutle people are actually, they're, they're a special kind of people. And she was always, she was taught never to make fun of those people. She was uh, taught you don't make fun of them and, you know, and they're a special type of people. And hearing that when you're just barely coming out, it was really like, I, I really appreciated hearing that because, you know, especially when you're coming out and you're that young, like you're seeking that validation from, you know, your parents and from your peers in high school to, to get that validation from my own culture was something that was really I carried with me. And so that just that one little thing that she said to me, it was really, really helped me a lot with accepting myself and alleviating a lot of the shame that I had built up, especially growing up in the 2000s before like the whole LGBT movement really took off, you know, there was just a lot of, a lot of shame that I grew up with and that was built up from then and, and hearing that from hearing that validation that's something that i still appreciate and i carry forward to this day and i like to tell that to other navajo gay people or whatever they identify as it's just something like you know there's a place for you within your culture but anyways that's the story behind it with my grandma oh hi pardon me I'll be right out. So I see you've reached the end of the video. Well, that is all for part one. Stay tuned for part two because we do have that in the next video. Look in the suggestion box, click it. Um, <laughs> um, the, the video's there. Uh, if you like this video, give it a like and um, also, I really like to read comments, so please put down a comment. Just to get to the 10 minute mark, I'm gonna leave you some extra goodies at the end, which is gonna be just, you know, a bunch of da 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 videos of me singing or like just some random stuff. But yeah, stay tuned for part two. I guess I could introduce myself because I didn't at the beginning of this video. Um, ya tish e ya. So if you're any of those clans, give me a shout out. Put the, put your clans in the comments. I don't know. This is I guess this is what people do on native YouTube. Hope that you click on the next video. Basically, that was all. Shout out to the Navajo Nation. Shout out to indigenous people. Shout out to, uh, I love New Mexico, so I love green chili. Anyways, that's all. Um, that's pretty much it. Arigato <clears throat>